Guys, here we go. 10 Instagram stories, hacks, tips, and tricks that actually work. Instagram have some bomb new features and I have some epic hacks that I want to show you guys. So that is what this video is all about. And also stay until the end of the video to see my favorite tip because that is something I get asked about all the time. So other than that guys, let's get into it. Now this first tip may seem obvious, but I assure you it is not. Did you know that if you go and find an existing video or picture of yours, you can actually still add filters to it even though you didn't film it within Instagram? So here are all the different filters that I'm using to add to the video that I filmed outside of Instagram after the fact. Here I've also got a jewelry image and I decided to add a sparkly star filter and it'll also pick up your face so you can still use face filters, which is really cool. Now this one is awesome if you want to create a quick collage on Instagram stories. For example, I got this image and screenshotted it. From there, I just cropped the edges as you see me doing here. And then whatever other pictures you'd like to add to your Instagram story, just do the exact same thing. So I selected this tree one, and then I also selected the salad image. And then from there, what you're gonna do is head on over to Instagram and go to your Instagram stories. Just take a picture and create a solid background once again, as you see me doing here. And then what you're gonna do is select the text icon in the top right hand corner, and then hold down or press down on the screen and you'll see the paste button. Select paste and it'll actually paste that screenshotted image that you took and you can basically place it anywhere. Now check this out. If you hit the text button again, press down and click clipboard, you can actually choose those other images that you screenshotted and create this epic collage. If you're an iPhone user, there's actually a copy button in the gallery, but this is a hack for my Android users. Now this is an awesome new feature that Instagram has just rolled out and it's a creator's profile. If you click on that icon on the top right hand side and select settings, then go to account. Under account, you will actually see switch to creator account. Then here it actually lists the variations in a creator's account and what you get. So simply select next. And then what you need to do is select which category you fall under. So I selected video creator because I'm a YouTuber then select next and your account has officially been switched to a creator's account. If you toggle this button, it'll take away some information on your profile, but once you're done, you can now access the new creator settings. So the first difference is that your inbox is different. You get primary and general in the inbox, which is quite interesting because you can organize things a bit better. And then secondly, you also get more audience insights. So if you go into audience, you can see a bit more detailed information about your audience, which is really awesome and nifty. Did you know there is actually an Instagram online creator studio? All you do is type in Facebook creator studio because Facebook owns Instagram. And then right over there, click on the Instagram icon and here guys, you'll be able to see all your stats on your desktop, which is really awesome. So if you need to compile reports or anything like that, this makes it super easy. And not only can you see your insights of posts, but you can also see extra analytics and information from your Instagram stories, which is really helpful. And I just love that there's a desktop option now. Okay guys, now check this out. You can actually make emojis glow. So all you do is select the emoji that you want, then choose the color, and from there change the font to neon. Then just click done and you will see the glow around the emoji. Just so you guys can see, here's what it looks like when there is no neon glow on the emoji. The bam So have some fun with this and change things up. There are so many colors to choose from and you can also do this on all the emojis. Here is an example where I had a bit of fun and just put a whole bunch of different neon glows on different emojis. And like I said, you can really have a lot of fun with this and make it your own. Booyah! Choose what you're tagged in. So here I'm on 9gags profile and if you click on this icon, it actually shows you all the images that other people have tagged 9gag in. Here's my profile and the images that I've been tagged in, but you can actually decide whether you want those pictures shown on your profile or not. So if you head on over to settings and then click on privacy and security, under there you'll see the option photos and videos of you. 
If you click on that, you can toggle this on and off. So I've got it off, which means the photos will not be added automatically. And if I click here, I can actually choose to remove the images that have been added of me just by clicking that icon in the top right hand corner. And now if I go there, those images have been removed. Say goodbye. By now, I'm sure many of you are aware of the question sticker, but did you know there is a pretty cool way to respond to a couple of them at one time? For example, you can see me creating the sticker tag on this image, and then when people respond, I can just go into the back end, check out the responses, but now, here is a pretty cool way to respond to a couple of them. So select the one you would like to respond to by clicking reply and share response, then choose whatever background you'd like. So I just made mine a solid background, now you're gonna screenshot this image. Once you've done that, what you're gonna do is go back out to the other responses, click reply, share response, and then go and use that screenshot as your new background. So as you can see, now I've got two of the responses. I do another screenshot and I repeat these steps until I have as many of the questions on one page as I want. And then I can answer all of these in one go. I hope that makes sense guys, but you can pretty much see what I'm doing here. And it's really nice because then your audience doesn't have to click through a ton of posts. There is a new sticker on Instagram and it's called the quiz sticker. So if you click on this icon here, you will see towards the bottom of the page, the quiz sticker. If you select this, you can now actually do a little quiz with your audience. So I said, which phone am I currently using? I typed in Nokia 9, Samsung S10 and iPhone XR. So you would of course put your own options in there, but then actually select the one which is the right answer. So my one was Galaxy S10 Plus. You can change the colors, customize it a bit as you see me doing here. Then once you click done, the correct color will fade away. You can place this quiz sticker anywhere on your image and now your peeps can try and answer the quiz. But what's really cool is when they do try and answer, it'll shake if it's the wrong answer and then reveal the right answer. Number nine, Insta voice messages. Did you know you can send voice messages within Instagram's direct messages? So if you click on that mic icon, you can literally record a voice message, but only up to one minute. It also works much the same as WhatsApp. If you click and swipe towards the left, it'll actually delete the voice message and won't send, or you can click and hold down on the voice message and click unsend. Another thing you can finally do is if you click on the mic icon and swipe up, it will lock and then you can continue your voice recording without holding any buttons and send when ready. On to my favorite tip and it's creating the circle around your profile picture. So I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but this is how you do it guys. Download the app Canva and then simply select that plus icon. Choose Instagram post, which is basically a square canvas. Then click on the plus icon again. Choose your profile image as you see me doing here. So I thought this one was pretty cool. Then you're going to click on illustrations and select shape. Once you're in the shape section, select the circle frame and then you can actually choose to change the color if you want. Position it to whatever your heart desires and then you are going to select this icon and save your image. Your image will then save into your gallery, then head on over to Instagram and click on edit profile. From there you'll be able to change your profile picture and obviously just upload the new one that you just made in Canva and size it up until the frame meets the frame in Instagram. You guys can see what I'm doing here. Click next and you've got a beautiful profile picture. And that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section which was your favorite hack, tip, or trick. Please also feel more than welcome to like and subscribe. You can check out my other Instagram videos right over here. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!